Hi everyone, here is Mr. Safe again, your science instructor for this course, and today we're going to be talking about force and motion. But before we get started, as usual, I have a question for you. What is this? Mm -hmm. That's a car. I know that's a car, but I'm talking about the state of the car. Is it moving or not moving? Just take a look, a deep look. Yes, it's car at rest. This car is not moving. What are the evidences for this? Number one, the wheels are not moving. Number two, there is no driver. So this is totally at rest. It does not move. The position of this car will not be changed later on, especially in this state. If there is no driver, if there is no force in this car, it will stay static. It will stay at rest. If there is no force, act on this car. This one might be different. Take a look here. Yes. This car is moving. This is not a rest car. This is not a static car. This car is moving. Why? Because the wheels here are moving. There is a driver. Push the car. So there is a force is trying to push the car forward. So the car is not at rest. That's the difference. So what does it mean motion here? To answer this question, you have to think like this. This car is moving. Take a look on the current position right now. Is it going to be the same position after a few seconds? No, it will be changed. So the position right now, the location of the car right now, not the same location of the car after a few seconds. So the location is a changing. The movement of the car causes change in the position. Simply, this is what's meant to by motion. Motion means changing in the position of a moving object as the time passing. Can you give me more examples of things are moving in our From world? life? Yes, human, or maybe the train. Lots of objects are moving in our life. That means their position or their location not going to be the same. I have another question for you. What is this? <laughs> it's a ball. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm talking about the state. Is it moving or static? Yes, it's a static ball. It's not moving right now. In the current situation, it's not moving. And it will stay without movement until you act a kind of force on it by pushing or pulling. So, a question. Keep it in mind. Objects stay as they are until a force acts on them. If they are static objects, they will not move until a force act on them to push them forward or to pull them backward. This is another example of a static object. In the current situation, in the current time, it's not moving. What to do to make this ball move or the previous one move? Simply, you have to push it or to pull it. But you have to be careful because if you give the ball so much force, it's not going to move, it's going to fly. <laughs> Which means we have a link between the amount of force and the amount of movement. As you increase the amount of force, when you push it really strong, the movement going to be so much movement. It's going to be large movement. So when you push gently, the object moves gently. When you push with a high amount of force, the object moves with a high amount of movement. There is a link between the force and the kinetic energy. Extra force causes extra motion. I have another question for you. What is this? Exactly, that's a truck. We call this a truck, the big car. And what is this? Yes, jet. We call this jet. So what's the difference between them? I know we have lots of differences, but I'm talking about the engine. Engine means the motor inside. So what's the difference between the motor of the truck and the motor of the jet? Which one of them is more powerful, more stronger? Yes, you are right, the jets. The jet has more powerful engine. Give it much more force. So more force, more motion. So this is why they can fly. So can the truck fly? No, they cannot. They cannot fly. You know why? Because they don't have powerful engine like the jet. The jets have more powerful engine. 
So um, this is why the jets are faster than the normal truck. So if you are smart enough, what to do if you want to make the truck more faster? Amazing question. So can you answer? We have a normal truck. We need to make it so fast. We need to make it more faster. So what to do? I guess the problem is in the engine. The engine here is not powerful. So what to do? Excellent. You can take the engine of the jet and put it inside the normal truck. But Mr. Safe, is it going to move? Is it working? They actually did the same, but not with just one engine. They brought three jet engines, three jet engines, and they put it inside the normal truck, and that was the result. The result is in front of you, the shock wave. The shock wave is not a normal truck. It's a truck is fitted with three jet engines, and it's faster than the normal truck five times. Definitely, it's not faster than jets, but it's faster than the normal trucks five times. It's the fastest world truck. Be careful, it's the fastest word truck. It's not easy at all to make the shock wave stop. This is why they fit it with three parachutes. Parachute for each engine to make it stop because the brakes are not enough to make it stop. So how many engines do we have in the shock wave? Three. How many parachutes do we use to stop